What is up guys? It's your boy Travizi here. Excited to be doing another San Francisco Giants game recap with you guys. We're going to be recapping uh, the double header from the Giants and Dodgers. Yep, they played a double header and that happened because early in the season in April um, we had a game that got rained out so basically they postponed it to uh, another series in April uh, Giants and Dodgers of course in San Francisco and so this uh, doubleheader the first game uh, did not go fortunate in the Giants favor um, Chris Stratton pitched in this one and had perhaps his worst start in his MLB career only going one and a third innings pitched uh, gave up six earned runs and so yeah he definitely had his challenges his struggles in this game uh, the most notable highlight in this game was that the Giants used Pablo Sandoval to pitch in this game. Yep, they used the Panda, um, which, you know, was very entertaining, got a lot of humor, and I think it allowed the players to, you know, put a smile on their face considering the game that, you know, they had, which, you know, not a whole lot of smiling in a game where you got beat 15-6. to six. And um, Bochi obviously probably used Sandoval to protect his bullpen, because um, they again they had to use eat up a lot of innings being that Stratton only went one and a third innings pitched but the big game was the nightcap the nightcap because the Giants were able to pull away with the victory guys eight to three was the final I'm gonna go over uh, some of the box score which some of the notable players yep I got my stats written down so that we can you know have access to it so we got Evan Longoria guys he continues to stay red hot with the bat went two for four is now hitting 247 on the year if some of you remember on the last road trip he started hitting 132 and now has got his average all the way up to 247 so loving what we're seeing out of Longoria has already got five home runs on the year in April if he hits five home runs every month you know or I mean you know every month of the season he'll come away with 30 home runs on the season so definitely um, looking to see Longoria continue to keep that hot streak going with the bat um, got Brandon Belt went two for three he's hitting 313 on the year uh, Belt continues to play excellent Kelby Tomlinson started in this nightcap game uh, the news regarding that was that Joe Panic uh, went on the DL with a sprained thumb I believe um, so now we have two Giants players that have been experiencing thumb issues, you know, with uh, Panic now, which I was not aware of, and then also with Hunter Pence. Uh, Hunter Pence did have a rehab game down in Sacramento Friday night, so Hunter Pence is looking to be rejoining the team soon, and I'm excited to see Hunter Pence uh, get back to doing, you know, the things that I know that he can do, um, that he does well, because, you know, hitting 198 or whatever it was that he's hit, is not Hunter Pence you know it's not Hunter Pence that's not who he is and I think uh, injuries probably played a factor in that but yeah Kelby went two for four is hitting 306 on the year Austin Jackson another Giants hitter new Giants player that you know needs to wake up with the bat and this one went two for four and had a very crucial basis clearing double uh, to give the Giants the lead they were trailing two nothing Jackson came up hit the ball away from the defense uh, Peterson in left field was playing pl closer to the center field area so that left the left field line wide open Jackson pulled the ball down the left field line Giants were able to take the lead Johnny Cueto started this nightcap game guys he went six innings gave up two earned runs and got the win and right now Cueto is the MLB ERA leader now his ERA 0 0.84 so that is awesome that's phenomenal it's been great to see Cueto uh, get back to doing you know the things that Cueto can do and you know if you remember his first year as a giant Cueto went 18 and 5 with a 2.62 ERA so that's definitely um, great to see that I believe Cueto has returned to his old form not the guy that had a 4 ERA last year that started spring training late um, due to some health related issues concerning his um, dad the health of his father so that is the recap guys i'm very excited to be sharing my opinions with you i'm excited the direction the giants are going in right now um, with the win and the nightcap that puts us at 13 and 14 now um, we trail arizona i believe by six and a half games and arizona has just been red hot they've been on fire so the giants just gotta you know hang around 
until Madison Bumgarner can come back and until we can really get on a groove and really start winning a lot of games. And it's going to be crucial to, you know, just, you know, hang around, really. Um, that's what we're trying to do. If you guys like this video, give it a comment, like, subscribe. Um, be sure to let me know um, any ideas you guys have or any topics that you might want me to talk about regarding the San Francisco Giants or any other sports related topic. I love baseball, I love football, love basketball, so just love sports, everything sports. And until next time, I'll see you guys again. Let's go Giants!